Want to avoid kidney problems and dialysis? Watch this entire video. These easy, science-backed tips will transform your kidney health. Join us now to discover how small changes can make a huge difference. Your kidneys will thank you. Hey there, FitBuzz Nation. Did you know that every year, over 100,000 people in the United States start dialysis because of high creatinine levels, leading to kidney problems? That's a huge number, right? But don't worry, we're here to help. Imagine keeping dialysis at bay and living a full, healthy life. The habits we'll share are super easy, scientifically backed, and fit perfectly into your daily life. They're your golden ticket to avoiding kidney issues. So, come along and watch our video as we start our journey towards healthier kidneys. Your actions today can make a huge difference and your kidneys will thank you. First, let's chat about a simple change that can do wonders for your kidney health. Cutting down on intense physical workouts. It's not as tough as it sounds, trust me. Instead of going all out with heavy weights, crazy running, or marathon stuff, try something easier. Keeping your heart rate between 100 and 120 beats per minute during exercise is the secret sauce. Activities like brisk walks, swimming, or light aerobics are fantastic choices. They're fun and gentle on your kidneys. Now, let's dive into the science of it. Hardcore exercises can briefly jack up your creatinine levels in your blood, which tells us your kidneys are working extra hard. But don't worry, this spike is usually short-lived, only lasting about two to three days before things go back to normal. By picking gentler exercises, you're helping your creatinine levels stay steady, and that's a good thing for your kidney health. Remember, it's all about finding that balance between staying active and being kind to your kidneys. Number two, on our kidney health journey, say no to supplements. We've got to chat about something pretty important, the impact of certain supplements on your kidneys, especially those with creatine or creatinine in them. This is crucial stuff, especially if you're all about building muscles, as those supplements are quite the rage in the muscle-building gang for their speedy muscle-boosting powers. Creatine, when you swallow it down, turns into creatinine in your body. Now, creatine is famous for its muscle-boosting and energy-pumping abilities, but here's the twist. It can also mess with your kidney health. Studies done by smart scientists have shown that going overboard with creatine can make your creatinine levels shoot up. And why is that a big deal? Well, creatinine is like a waste product that your kidneys filter out of your blood. See, your kidneys are the body's cleanup crew, getting rid of waste and extra stuff from your blood. When creatinine levels go through the roof, it's a sign that your kidneys might not be doing their job as they should. And if you've already got kidney issues or are at risk, having too much creatinine can make things worse, maybe even lead to chronic kidney trouble. Moving on to number three, dial down the protein. You don't have to go all veggie if you don't want to, but it's time to be choosy about the protein you gobble up, especially from things like red meat and dairy. These protein sources can pump up your creatinine levels when they break down, and that's extra work for your kidneys. Imagine your kidneys as superheroes, and they're dealing with this extra creatinine load like a heavy bag of groceries. Scientific studies tell us that a diet with less protein, especially the animal kind, can do wonders for folks with kidney issues or those who want to stay in the clear. Less protein means less work for your kidneys, slowing down the kidney trouble train and keeping those kidneys in tip-top shape. Let's clear something up right away. We're not saying you should kick protein out of your diet entirely. It's actually pretty important for a bunch of stuff your body does. What we mean is, you've got to think carefully about 
where your protein's coming from and how much of it you're gobbling down to keep your kidney health in top shape. It's like picking the right team for a game. So what's the game plan? Well, go for a balanced approach when it comes to protein. Think about leaner sources like chicken or stuff that grows in the ground. Chicken is cool, but don't go overboard. Aim for two to three servings a week, and each serving should be around the size of a deck of cards, which is about three to four ounces or 85 to 113 grams. That's enough protein to keep your body happy without giving your kidneys too much work. Besides chicken, think about plant-based proteins. They're not only tasty, but also easy on your tummy. These veggie options won't mess with your creatinine levels, so they're a smart choice to keep your kidney smiling. Now, on to another player in our kidney health game, fiber. Eating more fiber is like giving your kidneys a high five. You can do this by munching on fibrous foods like apples. They're a real game changer. But here's a nifty trick. You can also get your fiber fix with supplements like Bina Fiber. This stuff is like extra fuel for your fiber needs and can be mixed into your meals without messing with the taste or texture. You can even stir it into water and it won't taste weird. It bumps up your fiber intake by about 4 to 8 grams per meal, which is pretty neat. We're talking about aiming for 30 to 35 grams of fiber every day, and it's totally doable. Science has our back on this one. Fiber is a superhero for your overall health, including your kidneys. It's good for your digestion and helps keep your blood sugar steady, which means your kidneys don't have to work overtime. Plus, a high-fiber diet lowers the chances of kidney problems like chronic kidney disease. It also helps keep your blood pressure in check and calms down any inflammation, both super important for keeping those kidneys in tip-top shape. Hydrate yourself. Drinking more water is a super simple yet powerful way to boost your kidney health, and it's one of the easiest habits to pick up. Forget about those fancy rules that tell you to drink half your weight in ounces. Science has a more down-to-earth take on it. The smart folks at the Institute of Medicine say guys should aim for around 3.7 liters, that's 125 ounces, of water a day, while gals should go for about 2.7 liters, that's 91 ounces, and that includes all your drinks and water-rich foods. Here's the deal. Your kidneys are like the cleanup crew of your body, working hard to filter out the junk and toxins from your blood and turning them into pee. To do their job right, they need a good drink now and then. When you're well hydrated, your kidneys work like a well-oiled machine. Water also helps dilute stuff in your pee that could lead to nasty kidney stones and other problems. Plus, studies say that guzzling more water can lower your chances of getting stuck with chronic kidney issues and can even slow down any kidney troubles you already have. By keeping up the hydration game, your kidneys can manage your body's liquid balance, keep your blood pressure in check, and make sure everything else runs smoothly. But remember, these are just general rules. Your water needs can change depending on where you live, how active you are, and your overall health. If you're sweating it out in a hot place or being super active, you'll need more water. On the flip side, if it's cooler or you're chilling out, your water needs might drop. Now, if you've got kidney problems or other health issues, it's smart to chat with the experts, your healthcare peeps about how much water you should be sipping, since your kidneys might not handle the usual amount so well. All right, FitBuzz Nation, we've come to the end of our journey today. We've talked about some super cool and easy habits to keep your kidneys happy and healthy. Remember, it's all about making small changes that can have a big impact on your kidney health. From easing up on intense workouts to being smart about protein and hydration, every little bit helps. And hey, don't forget about that fiber. It's a real game changer for your kidneys. Now, we're super curious to hear from you. Which of these tips do you think you can try out? Maybe you've got some awesome kidney-friendly habits of your own. We'd love to hear all about it in the comments below. Let's make this a place where we can all share and learn from each other. Every single tip, 
trick, and story can help someone out there. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to FitBuzz for more enlightening health buzz. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us keep bringing you all this helpful info. Remember, even the smallest steps can lead to big wins for your health. Thanks for joining us today, and let's keep this conversation going. Stay healthy, stay happy, and keep buzzing, FitBuzz Nation.